hidden message. What are these strange marks? They have to be some kind of clue. this just to keep his research safe. The renovations are proceeding in secret. The work crew Roth hired for the job have been paid handsomely to keep the details of the job out of the records, so I'm fairly confident no word will get out about what I'm doing. I've been careless with presenting my findings, attracting all the wrong sorts of attention. Roth thinks I'm being paranoid by building this secret vault, but I know I'm being watched. My work is too important, and potentially too dangerous. It can't fall into the wrong hands. I need a secure place to keep it all safe. Dad's Tibetan scroll. I remember he used to pour over this late into the night. It's over. I have done all that I could, and my Amelia is still cold and dead. Roth first scowled at my designs, then he pleaded with me not to go through with the ritual. Not because he feared it might work, but because he feared what I might do when it failed. And it has failed, there is no doubt in that. I prepared everything according to my research. When I dropped the stone into the elixir and held it to her lips, I thought for the barest moment that it had worked. The hour was midnight and my pocket watch stopped inexplicably. There was a charge in the air like the moment before a lightning strike. For a heartbeat, I imagined that my life was being drawn from me as one empties a glass in order to be poured back into Amelia. I would have welcomed death if the last thing I saw were her eyes clear and alive again. But the moment passed. Amelia is still dead. And I was no Orpheus. We will return to the manor and lay her to rest. I owe her that much. You brought her home. She's here, somewhere. This was part of a set of statues Dad found in China. He thought it was linked to the Temple of Xi'an. Perhaps I should look into it someday. Richard, I tried to see you in person last week, but your manservant hustled me away like some common tout peddling silverware. He told me you are heartbroken and you're not yet ready to see visitors. 
He told me you blame yourself for your loss. Well, to that, I say, you had damn well better. I hope it hurts. I hope every moment of your life from this day forward is a ringing echo of loss. I hope you live just long enough to feel that pain grow when you hoped it would diminish, because you earned it. You stole Amelia from us. You ruined her reputation and poisoned her mind with a fantasy for children. In the end, you might as well have choked a life from her with your own hands. Do not contact me again, ever. But you must make arrangements for the future of your daughter. Have you considered perhaps it would be better if you followed Amelia sooner rather than later? As Lara's legal guardian, perhaps I could erase some of the damage you've already done to the poor girl. If not, I will do everything in my power to see to it that the Croft name is forgotten. Lara deserves better than you. So did Amelia. And so do we all. Atlas. Dad's collected knowledge. There must be so many secrets hidden in here. Might be able to use this to access other parts of the manor. The missing page from the renovation plans. They didn't want anyone outside the family knowing about this crypt. My love. It is silent. So peacefully silent now. Even after the madness and chaos of the crash, I can't help but still wonder at the beauty of these mountains. I understand the magic that drew you here. Please know that I feel no pain in this moment. Only immense sadness. Sadness that I couldn't see your smiling face once more that I'll never meet the wonderful woman that our daughter will become. <laughs> there is so much to say, but I'm tired. Oh, the, the sun is setting. The cold of night will overwhelm me. I know I will fall asleep soon, and likely never again awaken in this world. I'm scared, Richard. What lies beyond... You know I've always struggled with faith, so I'm holding on to yours for now. I'm holding on as best I can, my love. Become the father Lara deserves. Know that I will live on in her. Mum faced death alone. She was so brave. There's an inscription. This is the Croft universe. Our knowledge is to the east. Our respite to the west. Our future is to the south. Our past is to the north. Our past to the north. Could there be something else beneath the manor? Amazing. Even in here, Dad went out of his way to hide his findings. Hi, Dad. So I know I only just returned to school, but when can I come out to the dig site again? It's just so boring here. We're doing all the stuff I already read last summer. I always end up staring out the window and thinking about our expeditions, and then I'm yelled at for daydreaming. 
I promise I'll be good and not disturb you and just work wherever you tell me. I just miss it, Dad. And I miss you. Lord Croft is resolved to seal the west wing of the manor. I try to talk sense into him, but he will not be swayed. And to make matters worse, I believe his experiences in Tibet have only further fueled the fire of his obsession. He's now up at all hours in his study, researching God knows what. And poor Lara, she is so confused. Too young to understand the tragedy that has befallen this great house. My dearest hope is that Lord Croft will emerge from his grief and embrace fatherhood and the love of his daughter. But I fear he may give in to his obsessive nature, that which Lady Amelia tempered in him so well. In any case, I will be a rock for young Lara. She will never sense tragedy and sorrow in me, only the love and support she deserves. <laughs>